Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video, I am going to show you how to work, how to host a simple web app in Google Kubernetes Engine cluster using Cloud Shell commands. So without any further delay, let's get started. So here if you see in this video or in this lab, we are, you, we are going to use Cloud Shell command line tool to work with. First, we will containerize the app using docker build command. For everything, we will be using the command line tell shell commands only. And then we will use two docker commands to docker the tag and push the docker image to Google container registry. Next, we will create a Kubernetes cluster using uh, uh, using command line, tell, command line shell itself where we will create two nodes for this particular cluster. One cluster uh, and we will be using the kubectl command soon, specifying the port number 80 and then we will expose that deployment using kubectl commands as well. Then we will set up the load balancer and we will finally test our deployment. So this is what we will be doing this in this particular video. I have given, I have broken down what are the steps which we are going to do. First we are going to create the docker image and then push it to container registry, then create Kubernetes engine cluster, deploy the app and finally expose the app as well. So this is what we are going to do in this particular lab. I have, I guess I have clearly explained to you what we are going to do. The first thing is you have to enable the API of the APIs of Kubernetes engine uh, cloud container registry has been enabled. If it is not, please make sure you enable this uh, APIs. I have already enabled inside my cloud console. The first thing is here you can see um, first create the docker image. Before that I'll I'll take uh, I'll explain you what is the code which we are going to deploy. Here you can see from flask import flask import OS and import socket and creating the object of flask and this is a simple uh, function like uh, def show pin net. Here you can see it is going to take one like image. Uh, so it is going to take one image as well as a custom message greetings and cloud and AI analytics and this is the image so this image i have already uploaded in my cloud storage bucket so this bucket this image is it is a public uh, public exposed to public and people who have access like who are all users also will be able to see it that is how i have given the access and i'll show you what it is also so this is the app which i am going to expose and here you can see the port i'm using is 80 and this is the docker file a simple docker file from python 3.7 and work directory is app and app as well and run the, this command will install all the requirements here you can see the requirement is flask version and then expose port number 80 and finally run the command so here you can see python app.py so before that i'll show you what is the image i am using so to show you i'll go just go here navigation menu go to cloud storage and i'm inside this particular bucket so kf bucket and here you can see this bucket so and it has been exposed to public as well i made this sure it is public to internet as well so this is my bucket number and this is my uh, image which i am going to use here you can see storage.googleapis.com bucket name and respective object name so that is what it is uh, that is what i have given here as well so storage and the bucket name and followed by the image name object name so I have already uploaded everything inside my uh, everything is present inside my cloud shell cloud editor here you can see app.py docker file requirement.txt same file and now I am inside this directly as well kubernetes engine where I have kept where I have kept all my files like if I do ls I'll be able to say app.py docker file and requirement.txt so now I am going to follow this basically all the comments will be given to you you can just play with it and you will be able to do it first we are going to create the docker image to create the docker image I am using this command docker build and this is the image so docker build hyphen t this is la hyphen content image one and space dot so with this is what I am going to do I have pasted and I am just hitting enter so it is going to build a docker image for me so here you can see it is installing all the packages and yes the image is done like the image name is la hyphen container hyphen image one so the next thing is i'm going to authenticate my docker configure docker so just paste it and hit enter yes 
correct so it is already done and if on uh, the next command is we have to take this docker tag the image name and we are pushing into this particular image version so this is my image name container image 1 and the version is 1 and here you can see this is my project id stacy lekum 376322 is my image name we are pushing this like whatever the docker image which we created we are just pushing this into my container registry so which i'll be showing you docker tag and not dom we are just first tagging it and then we are going to push it so it has been tagged and now we are going to push this inside this docker push to this particular uh, container registry so i'm just pasting it i'm hitting it yeah now it is pushing so we can cross check here by you can just click on this go to container registry you will be able to see it once this is executed we will be able to see that yeah so it is done so the next thing is we are going to create the uh, we are going to configure this project like we are going to create a compute zone like we are going to set a standard compute zone so first i'll clear clear this command i'll paste it here and then we are going to set the compute as us central one the zone is compute us central one a is the uh, zone which we are going to use so g cloud contain cluster and the number of nodes is 2 i'm just going to paste this command here g cloud contain as cluster create the cluster name is gke and the number of node is 2 so this will take some time i'll just pass this video here and once it is working i'll come back and i'll resume with the next steps if the cluster has been created we will cross check whether the cluster has been created or not so to cross check just you can navigate here go to kubernetes engine and you will be able to see one kubernetes engine cluster will be running here you can see cluster gk 0 0 the location is us central 1a which we configured and the number of nodes is 2 total virtual cpu is 4 total memory is 8 gb so if you wanted to know more about this can just log uh, go and click on this and you will be able to see name location type is zonal control plane zone default node zones release channel version total size and external endpoint internal endpoint like maintenance you will be able to see all the details of this particular cluster additionally you will be able to see the workloads service and ingress type application secrets on config map storage object browser all those things which we will be not which we will be seeing in the later part of in other videos but not in this video we will just continue with our uh, uh, continue with our lab so here you can see under repositories previously there was only one container image this was like pre like i developed uh, previously so here if you see it was like around 1 hour ago so this is the latest one which i did which we pushed right so using this command we pushed to this come like using this we have pushed the right? docker push particular to contain image 1 and the respective version is 1 here you can see container image 1 and the respective version is like that image here you can see the docker image and the virtual size is 48.7 mb and it is created like 9 minutes ago so this is what i was talking about so it it took some time for refreshing it took some time so that is why i just skipped it and i was refreshing at this point of time so it, it got reflected so this is the image which we are going to move into our google kubernetes engine cluster and finally exposing it to our endpoint so we will continue with the lab so then the next command is you can we have created the cluster with number of nodes too here you can see g cloud containers clusters get credentials for this particular cluster we are going to get credentials so we are going to execute that command i'm just going to paste it and hit enter so fetching cluster endpoint on authenticate like kubecop entry generator so that has been configured now we are using going to use kubectl command because in order to work with kubernetes kubectl is the command line tool so kubectl create deployment the deployment name is caa greeting so cloud ai analytics greeting and the image is this is what the image which we are going to use which is currently present inside container registry so here you can see under container registry image container registry we are able to see this container image one so we are going to use that so now we are going to paste it here cube ctl create deployment caa greeting and respective image version if you hit enter you will be able to you will be able to see it here so under uh, we can just refresh here you will be able to see the difference 
so here you can see under workloads you are we have created one uh, deployment that is caa greeting so it is now here and the cluster is the current cluster gke002 and here you will be able to see what the overview the details all those things and observability revision history events logs all the respective yaml files events what are the revision history for now it is only one and next the details all those things you will be able to see it here so the next thing is we are going to expose this deploy workload so for that we are going to kubectl expose deployment what is that uh, deployment this ca greeting and type is load balancer and the name is like ca greeting service port is this and target port is 80 so which we are going to see it here so if you come here yeah, i'll just refresh this is what we have already created so this is the one which we are going to use it here so we can go here and paste this command so we are going to expose the deployment kubectl expose deployment this is the deployment name the type is load balancer the name is ca greeting service and finally we are going to port 80 target 80 so we are going to just hit enter it is going to expose the deployment so deployment has been exposed to cross check you can just refresh you will be able to see it here caa greeting and here you can see active revisions manage response and the exposing service so this is what caa greeting service which we created now if you see the command cqbcl expose deployment caa greeting type load balance and the name is caa greeting service that is what here you can see caa greeting service the type is load balancer i'm going inside this the port is 80 the target is as well 80 you can come here and you can see all the details it's like overview details events and the respective logs of this and the respective yaml file of this particular gym. and finally overview and you can see deployment caa greeting serving port and ports so you can see all the details here deployments just click on the caa greeting and you will be able to find that endpoint so here you can see the endpoint the exposing service caa greeting service and the load balancer if you just click on this you will be able to see so greetings from kf and cloud and ai analytics and this is my image this is my wallpaper desktop wallpaper so that's it for this video i hope you learned something new from this video so i have shown you how to create a docker image and push the docker image to container registry finally create the cluster and deploy the docker image from to kubernetes cluster and uh, expose it as a dip, uh, it's as a load balancer so everything is done through uh, command cloud shell commands itself and this is something very very popular how we will be doing it in the real time as well so please practice it and if you have any questions please post that in the comment section i'll take a look at it and reply to it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll see you in the next video until then, it's bye from witness. Happy, happy learning. Thank you.